guys, and welcome to another taste test review video. This one I've actually had in the fridge for a while, and I had another one, but I drank it first. So this isn't really first impressions, but um, but it is a review. So it is the Crystal Geyser Sparkling Spring Water in Peach. It is a big freaking bottle. Look at it next to my head. It's a big bottle, okay? We've got, how much is in it? Yeah. One and a quarter liters, or one quart, 10.3 fluid ounces, or altogether 42.3 fluid ounces. Now, um, oh geez, <laughs> my sister started IMing me. Um, hopefully, hopefully this microphone is making it to where I can be heard better because every time I've tried to record downstairs lately, it seems like you guys complain that you can't hear me. So I'm hopeful that um, my little lavalier mic will, ho or help, will help. I'm not really sure how well it's gonna work, but we're gonna find out uh, as I'm going in between doing my data entry stuff and not timing out on it. Okay, so um, you'll have to let me know in the comments about the audio quality on this. Hopefully it'll be okay. So anyway, apparently it is the 40th anniversary, or no, it's more than 40th anniversary of Crystal Geyser. It has a 40 years thing on it, but apparently the 40th year was in 2017. No, I did not buy this bottle two years ago. I bought this about a month ago. So it's water though, it's fine. Um, let's see here, ingredients. Spring water, natural peach essence, carbonation added. That's it. Although it does say uh, copyright 2017, so maybe it's been on the shelf that long, which is a little nasty. Uh, serving size is eight fluid ounces. So about five servings per container. I have managed to drink one of these in one sitting before, so just saying. There's no calories, there's no sweeteners, uh, there's randomly five milligrams of sodium in it. But there's no sugars, no carbs, no protein, no fat. Uh, so, I mean, you know, as you do, it's still zero percent of your daily value, even for the salt, so whatever. Apparently they have a Facebook page. Who knew Crystal Guys? Are well, I guess like every company has their social media now. So again, let me type real quick on here. Um, okay, so let's open this. Please don't explode. Yeah, it's not as fizzy as I was expecting these to be, which was a little bit of a bummer. I mean, you can, you can see the bubbles. It looks like it should be way fizzy, but it freaking isn't. Can we like, I'll put my mic near it. You guys can hear the bubbles maybe. Can you hear anything? Probably not, that was stupid. Why did I do that? I don't know. So let's re clip that on. Come on, little thingy. Okay, well, didn't really work. Hopefully it is close or freaking enough. There. All right. I've got the wire through my shirt, and since this is black, my shirt's black, I'm like trying to see, is it in my shirt? Is it over the shirt? I can't really tell. Um, hold on. Yeah, something like that. I'm, I have dyscalculia, so numbers confuse me. Hold on. Yes, isn't this an exciting review? Okay, so as you can see, the bubbles are starting to cruise up more and more now. Oh, it's a good thing. They're getting bigger, too. It's kind of fascinating to watch in like a lava lamp kind of a way, but yeah, I know. I know you're like, Jen, really right now? And yes, really right now. I'm not bored. So <laughs> anyways, oh, maybe you guys were able to hear fizzing because I just held it up to my ear and it's loud, so. Now, when you sniff it, you get like a really distinct peach scent, like weirdly, even though it's like natural peach essence, it smells straight up like peachios, which are amazing, but um, yeah. So I'm expecting like this intense peach flavor, but it would be a lie. I mean, it's there but it's not as intense as you would expect it to be for how vibrant the scent is. So that's a little bit of a disappointment. It still very much has that like carbonated water taste. 
I mean, if you have unflavored, just sparkling water, you know darn well it's got a flavor to it that can only be described as the sparkling water taste. And that is very, very distinctly in this, even though it also has peach extract in there, but I guess maybe peach isn't a strong enough flavor to really add on top of that, but it is what it is. It's all right. I mean, I don't mind, but I was definitely expecting more flavor given how much scent it has. And I was just like, really, that's it? I was like hella pissed off when I drank the first one. So actually, I'm kind of glad I didn't do a first impressions because I was straight up pissed over it. At least this time going into it, I knew what I was expecting. So this time I'm kind of more in quiet acceptance of it. But um, yeah, I was kind of peeved with the first one, <laughs> not gonna lie. So um, if you're expecting that, this may not be the one for you, but if you want something with just a really light peach flavor, it's actually, it's not terrible, it's good, but wish it had more peach in it. And even for as big as those bubbles are, it doesn't feel that fizzy, which also bums me the hell out. I like fizzy fizzy like a friggin' soda. I want this to con my brain into thinking I'm drinking a soda, damn it, and it's not fizzy enough to do that with. If it doesn't go when you open it, it's not fizzy enough, damn it. So, um, just saying. But it is drinkable. And I think I've gotten more and more used to it since that first one. Um, but still, they make other flavors of this. Uh, and I think also, what brand was it? It may have been Arrowhead, or it might have been uh, the one that Eric Idle used to do the commercials for. Aquafina. I think one of those also has flavored ones of these, but I haven't tried theirs yet. But um, I am kind of intrigued just to try some other ones while this heat wave is still in effect, because I'm like, <laughs> earlier today was proof enough that yeah, I definitely don't drink as much water as I probably should and got mildly dehydrated. So I'm like, this would be a good friggin' day to review this so I can drink this whole sucker down and rehydrate my damn self. So, and just not have soda today. So there's that. I like stopped myself halfway through my coffee and was like, wait, this is a bad idea. I should not be drinking caffeine when I'm already dehydrated. So anyway, yes. So crystal guys are sparkling peach water. My thoughts, my thoughts, my thoughts. Well, for one, it's friggin' massive for what it is. And it actually doesn't cost that much, especially if you can get it on sale. I got it on sale, <coughs> excuse me. It's bubbly enough to make you burp. And you do have a little peach flavor in your burp, but uh, as if you guys wanted or needed to know that. But um, I'm sure somebody out there may care, but I don't know, I'm trying to remember what I paid for this because it was like a month ago. I'm like, I don't remember off the top of my head now. Um, Cause I bought all the sparkling ice drinks since then. So now I'm like, what the hell did I pay for this? I feel like it was something like two for five, but like the normal price was, was somewhere around three. But I mean, for how huge they are, I mean, that's not bad, but I mean, if you can get it on sale, get it on sale. <laughs> but um, I know there was at least like a lime one, a lemon one. I want to say there was an orangey one, but don't quote me on that. Ooh, the mailman's here. I may hit stop on this in a second to go get that if I don't wrap this up fast enough. But um, let me type of this. Okay. Um, I think, let me have a more sip before I rate it. I'd maybe give it a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, it's not terrible, like I said. It's, it's pretty average if, if I had to be honest, but I mean, it's not bad. And I love peach, so I was willing to try it, but peach is such a light flavor. I feel like maybe some of the other flavors have more flavor to them. Raspberry, that's another one there was. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm ADD and all over the place. I'm kind of a space case today. Um, if we couldn't tell, that's all right. But um, anyways, yeah, 3.5 out of 5. 
I think is my final rating for this guy. I would buy it again. I'm not gonna lie, I would buy it again, even with it being such a light flavor, but I think I'd also like to try the other flavors too. So we'll see if the others do better in terms of amount of flavor in them. I wouldn't be surprised if they do, because peach is a hard one to nail in the natural flavor department and actually have it taste much like peach. Whereas this one, it's like I thought about a peach once and that's about it. But I mean, you could say that of La Croix too, or La Croix, or however the hell you say it. I don't drink that shit. My sister drinks that. But uh, <laughs> or at least she did once and didn't like it. But uh, anyways, this is not about that. This is about this. So anywho, I think that's about it for this one because I'm babbling and dehydrated and need to drink more water. This is your daily reminder. If you haven't had a glass of water today, go drink a glass of water. Yeah, I know, I'm such an old person. Anyway, that is it for this one. So you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Uh, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, Twitter, Instagram, Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, get shout outs at the end of every video for a month from the point where you donate, uh, even a couple of bucks. We'll get your name on the end of every video for a month. The donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, bye-bye.